Hey, Spike Storm and D1 Slides, it's me, Spike Snare, coming from a video in this video. I am doing more dragons, but one's a wyvern. Um, I turn Frothby, Coda, whose quirk is Anna Voice, Momoya, Rozu, and the wyvern is Tokiyami. Well, I hope y'all enjoy. Let's get into the video. Let's go! Okay. The first dragon we're looking at today is a frog-like dragon. This dragon is known as, by scientists as the Froppy Frog Dragon, or most common name for it besides the outside of the scientific area is Froppy. People, because it, they got the name from watching an anime. <laughs> <laughs> My academia to be more accurate. That's weird because these guys are actually eerily similar to some of the characters. The, this one being closely related to the to Froppy, aka Suyu. Um, this dragon is basically a dr frog, but if you made it about, you get the big, you get the biggest frog. The, in the world, which weighs around, I believe, 25 pounds. And then you multiply it by around 2,000 times. It weighs a whopping about 5,000 tons. Not about tons, 5,000 pounds, so about 2 tons and a half. And it has wings. It's impressive that thing can even fly, but what it mostly does is uses its very strong back legs. And for the record, these things are an amphibious type of dragon, which is quite rare. But they leap out of the water and then use their wings to pretty much glide. Their tongues can stretch up around, um, if I remember correctly, the going up around... Um, 15 feet, go around up to 15 yards, actually. Their tongue is sticky enough to actually break a tree in half. I'm talking about maybe a um, foot, th foot thickness and diameter. That's a really thick tree. And that's after it wraps around them, it being pulled back. That is strong. The main threat is just being squished by these things. <laughs> they also have a little tail. It's quite weird. The ones I nearly got squished by, I actually had to slice the belly open. Just because I was literally right below my face. My back of my head pressed up against the ground. And the belly was like five inches above me. I couldn't really move. So, I got... I sliced the thing up and got covered in frog guts. That was real gory. And their wingspan is around 15, it's about 30 feet, so they have a body length of around um, 20, if I remember correctly. Let's get to the next dragon. This next dragon is actually, looks quite menacing, but, com but compared to actually Axe, it's actually quite nice. This dragon is known as the Animal Whispering Dragon, or most commonly, Anima Whisper. Anima Whispers are known to um, attract other dragons, but also not just that, but also attract smaller animals. They have a few, I've actually seen a few with actual pet bunnies. It's quite cute, to be honest. Their body length is actually double the size of the Frumpy Frog Dragon, so around, thir so around um, 40 feet, and they have a wingspan of around 50 feet. They actually weigh a lot less than that dragon, though. Only around 2 tons. So, that's impressive. Um, they also have a... Like a weird head shape. If you look at Coda from My Hero Academia, make him a, give him a narrow snout, and 
give him very sharp teeth. That's what he looks like. But these dragons are actually quite shy. They can actually take down a um, full grown dragon. Or that's average lifespan for these dragons is around 20,000 years. Pretty much um, 15,000 for the froppy dragon. And I've actually never hunted one of these. I've actually been on a scouting mission when I actually encountered one of these. The thing actually helped me find my way out um, of it. It, you, it gained its knowledge from animals. I was able to pick up a little bit. And it was um, pretty much saying, hey, where's the exit for the forest and all that? The things don't actually have the ability to talk, sort of, but they don't really talk much. They mostly commute telepathically with animals. I've seen them communicate with um, small animals like um, rabbits and a few deer. I've even seen them communicate with bigger animals like lions and bears. Now that, that was awesome. They're, the average bear in this world is around 10 feet tall. That dragon, that bear nearly pissed itself when it saw the thing's full height. That was hilarious. It ran away. Well, let's get to the next dragon. I just wanted to do this interruption thing. I hope y'all having I hope y'all are having fun with this video and really enjoying it. But still, again, like this video and so I can so we can be pushed out there for more people to see and so I can get more feedback from y'all. I wanna see what y'all really think about these dragons and creatures. I've been trying to do more background lately. Well, let's get back into the video. Let's go. Some people mistake these dragons for a either a minor god or a demigod. <clears throat> but in reality, they're actually a um just live a relatively long life. They age around about seven hundred thousand years. So yeah, they can be quite old. Oh, the mint name. The name of these dragons is the Creation Dragon <clears throat> or Kratai. These dragons have the ability to create anything non-biological using the fat sacks on their wing, then the wings, then their tail, and on their back legs. It's right above the um, the the like elbow joint on the back leg, and and the um, on the front arms. It's actually close to the same area, but just about a foot above the paw. Standing up on all fours, they reach around, um, off the ground, they reach around, um, four feet. And, and actually closer to around, now that I look at it, six feet, actually. Body length is actually around, um, they're small, but they're actually really fierce dragons. Their body length is actually only around, um, 17 feet. Wingspan is actually around 25 feet that's per ring so that's around 50 foot wingspan and by anything non-biological I mean they can make weapons guns and these dragons are mostly used as pets kept as pets and sometimes even used in are used in the front line of military actually they because when the soldiers run out of bullets, they have these dragons there for them to create more bullets for them. Rinse and repeat. It's a, and the dragon gets food after that, i.e. the, whatever they killed. Let's get to the last one of today, shall we? This one is a wyvern. I was planning on going and trying to find more all dragons today, but all my files were all over gone, and I only had three dragons, and this was the only one I could fit in here. 
This is the Shadowy Dark Dual Spirit Wyvern. By Dual Spirit, I mean that. People mean that it has two spirits in it, but one is that of a shadow. Or, most common name is Shadowy Dark Wyvern. They get that nickname from the fact that they are nearly all black. They have a crow head and some like bird-like talons. And make since they're a wyvern, they're actually really aggressive. But not that aggressive compared to a wyvern like the explosive paw. Those guys are really, really, really aggressive. But these dragons are aggressive in another sense. The shadow I mentioned earlier, which is part of the name Shadowy, um, is a part of them. It's the other spirit, but not really another spirit. It's more of just a spirit manifested from their anger. These are known as Shadow Wrath. These parts of them can come out in the day or at night, but they're really weak during the day. They are fueled by anger and, well, darkness. They sometimes overtake the main dragon, the main wyvern, causing it to go on a frenzy. But in other times when it's near midnight and it's in full control, it can go, it can overtake and grow out of it. It, the dragon, the, the wyvern looks like itself, but is completely enveloped in shadow. They are a relatively small dra drake. They're a relatively small wyvern. Only around a 10 foot tall and have a, about a 15 foot wingspan. 20 foot wingspan. But in that form, they are pretty much doubling in size and wingspan. And they are even more aggressive. They kill anything in their path. They are sometimes kept as really aggressive pets. But they're more or less god animals. They mostly form an emotional bond with their owners. The owners are actually, most of the time, actually really nice to their to these creatures, but let's say their their owner is harmed and then wild, like by someone else, the the shadow part of them will take over and go on a frenzy until that person or people, or either beaten to a bloody pulp, are dead, and that is aggressive. That's all the young dragons I have for today. Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Until next time, subscribe to join the Spike Storm or Demonster Alliance. Goodbye and peace out.